I've never seen so much snow. Exciting news, children. Because of this unexpected blizzard, school has been canceled for the rest of the day. Does that mean we get to go out in the schoolyard and play? No. It means you all get to go home early. While I hit the slopes with my cousin Ginger. Now, let's get our things and get dressed. Mustn't keep your parents and cousin Ginger waiting. <laughs> It would snow like this every day. Then we'd never have to go to school. Mom, if I didn't have to go to school anymore, would I still have to take a bath? Yes. Rule of life number 42. If it weren't for mothers, little brothers would be very stinky. Francine, Julian, I spoke with your parents, and you're going to stay at our house until they're able to get home from work. It could take them a while with all this snow. I love blizzards. A whole day to play together. And I know the perfect game. Hmm. Welcome to the Hotel Olivia. Please, come in and make yourself at home. Wow, it's so big. Oh, this is nothing. You should see my other hotels. I wonder where Olivia is. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room in your hotel, please. Me too. I mean, a different room. Maybe one with the TV. I want a TV too. That shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> What's that sound? You mean... The wind? It sounds like a ghost. Oh no, there are no ghosts at the Hotel Olivia. Please follow me. We'll be taking the elevator. After you. Now, each of the rooms come with fluffy towels, little chocolates on the pillows, and room service. And they make your bed for you. I like the sound of that. We get to eat in our room? That's just one of those things that makes the Hotel Olivia the fanciest hotel in the world. This is our stop. Kindly follow me. This is your room, Francine. No offense, Olivia, but I'd like another room. This one smells like boy. But this is the room I picked out for you. I'll take it. I already smell like a boy anyway. Kindly follow me. And this is your room. I love it! Now here's the bed and the window. What's that for? Uh, that's in case you brought a pet monkey. Now over here are your little chocolates and towels. And if you want to be left alone, just hang this Don't Bother Me sign on your door. This is the best hotel ever! Excuse me, I think I have another guest. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room, please. I'm sorry, but the Hotel Olivia is full. All the rooms are taken. No fair. Mom, Olivia says all the rooms in her hotel are taken. Olivia, this is a very big hotel. I'm sure you can find a room for your brother. All right, follow me. It's pretty small. Oh, this isn't your room. This is. The bathtub? Go on, try it out. You'll love the privacy. And the soaps are free. Uh, I have to use the bathroom. Oh, one more thing. You have to leave your hotel room when other guests need to use the bathroom. Never mind. 
I don't want to stay at this hotel anymore anyway. Besides, I heard there were ghosts. Ghosts? He's making that up, Francine. There are no ghosts or pesky little brothers at my hotel. I promise. Are these grilled cheese sandwiches going to be enough for your guests? Hmm. Maybe we should give them a pickle, too. Good idea. And how about a big vanilla cupcake with pink frosting? I'm out of those at the moment. Please. I want the Hotel Olivia to be the best in the whole world. Hmm. I guess it's a good day to bake. Pink frosting, right? Here's the sandwich you ordered. I didn't order a sandwich. I ordered a frozen yogurt pop. Oh, this must be for the guest in room 17. Be right back. Can I play? Not right now, Ian. I'm very busy. Here's your sandwich, Francine. Oh, good. I was getting really hungry. And could you make the bed now? I've messed it up. <sighs> hey, Olivia. Perry left a gross chew toy in my room. Would you come and get rid of it? Uh, be right there. Oh, and room service. May I get a glass of milk? In just a minute. Uh, who turned off all the lights? The store must have knocked the power out. Or a ghost did. I told you, Francine, we don't have ghosts. <laughs> come on, Julian. I'll take care of that chew toy now. Want to come with us, Francine? No, I'll stay here. <laughs> Are you sure it was a chew toy you stepped on? Positive. It had dog slobber on it and everything. Ghost! It was the ghost! I saw it! <gasps> ah! I just saw it too! <gasps> Where? I don't see anything. I don't want to stay in this hotel anymore. Neither do I. Olivia, Mom told me to tell you she can't finish the cupcakes until the power comes back on. What's wrong with you guys? We saw a ghost! I told you there were ghosts. If I do have a ghost in my hotel, then I'm just going to have to get rid of it. What does the ghost o meter say? Nothing so far. The ghost is up there. Maybe I should wait downstairs. You know, in case the ghost tries to get away or something. Good idea. Phew. pretending to be a ghost and scaring all my hotel guests. Well, Olivia, maybe Ian just wanted to play too. Sorry. Sorry, Ian. I know. How would you like to be the room service waiter? Cool. Oh, good. The power's back on. Room service. Julian and Francine's parents got home okay, but they said it was okay for them to spend the night. Oh, good. Because I promised everyone that the Hotel Olivia has amazing pancakes for breakfast. I mean, if you don't mind helping me. Not at all. It sounds like the Hotel Olivia was a big success. It was, but it's not as much fun as Hotel Mom. That's very nice to know. Mwah. Good night, Mom. <laughs> good night, Olivia. All packed, Olivia? All... most... done! It's just for the weekend, dear. 
But, Mom, I never know what I might need. Of course, I'll need my best toy. Of course. Ian, you don't need to bring food. But this is my... Grandma will have plenty of food for us. No, this is... It's what grandmothers do. This is my suitcase. That's it? Yep. Will they let you on the plane with all that? They'll have to. But what if they don't? Not let me fly? My first time on a plane? Are you kidding? Dad, I'm ready. Kids, I've got some bad news. There's a big storm moving in and our flight has been canceled. Looks like we're driving to Grandma's. Driving? I'm afraid so, Olivia. There must be a plane we can take. Welcome aboard Air Olivia, a fancy flight. Olivia, it's time to go! Hey, Olivia. Getting ready to take off? Yeah, but not in a plane. We're driving. Too bad. Lucky I brought these. Walkie-talkies? Excellent! Testing, one, two, three. Come in, Olivia. Do you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. All aboard, kids. Bye, Julian. I get the side with the snacks. They're in the middle. Uh, that's William. A front middle. I'm approaching the vehicle. I'm entering the vehicle. I'm now inside the vehicle. Over. Roger that. Here we go. <laughs> Are we there yet? Honey, how can we be there if we haven't left the driveway? <laughs> My brother poked me. Roger, will do, over and... You're breaking up. I can't hear. Olivia, copy, over, Olivia. That was Ian, my little bother, over and out. I bet you wish you'd taken that plane to your grandma's, over and out. Hmm. Welcome aboard Air Olivia's flight to grandma's. Ian, are we there yet? No. <laughs> See you later. Just a few more hours. Oh, please let it be true. Control. 
Have a great flight. I know the passengers are in good hands with you, Captain Olivia. Does anyone have to use the bathroom? I do! Pit stop! <laughs> for the two of you to share. Can I have some? Sure, you can have the bottom half. But I like the red part at the top. So do I. <laughs> just, uh, just one yeah, bite. Yeah, Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. No, no, careful with the... Oh. <laughs> <sighs> we'll never get to Grandma's. It would have been so much better to fly. Here on Air Olivia, everyone, even pesky little bothers, travels in style. Sweet dreams. Would you like to enjoy a movie? Hey, I don't suppose you have any... Popcorn? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is by far the most wonderful flight I've ever taken. Thank you, Mom. I mean, happy customer. Time to begin landing. Buckle up, everyone. We're directly above Grandma's house and starting our descent. All right, co-pilot. Time for me to land this bird. Hey, guys. How's it looking up ahead? <gasps> Some rain clouds ahead? I better go around them. Was the drive? A little tiring. <laughs> Olivia? Not for me. I flew. <gasps> How grand. Come on in. I want to hear all about it. <sighs> well, Olivia, you made it through the car trip. <sighs> Book time? Not tonight, sweetie. I think we're all too tired. Then two books tomorrow. I'll make it three. Really? How about four? Don't push your luck, Missy. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Morning. I have some very exciting news. Today, we will all choose our class job. Yes, Olivia. I'd like to be the teacher. Well, that job is already taken. The jobs you can choose from are lights monitor. Does the lights monitor get to turn the lights on? Yes. And do they get to turn the light off? Yes. Now, sit 
your chair, no hands in the air. Again, the jobs you can choose from are chair monitor, desk monitor, whiteboard monitor, and last but certainly not least, classroom pet monitor. Francine, I want to be the pet monitor. And touch that icky frog? Yuck! I want to be the lights monitor. During recess, I'd like you all to think about which job you'd like. Julian, which job do you want? I don't really want any of them. I think you'd be a good whiteboard monitor. You're very neat and tidy. Thanks, but no thanks. I can't wait to start being the classroom pet monitor. I'm going to do every single thing that Mrs. Hoggenmuller asked me to do. And more. I hope you all gave this some thought during recess. Now, who would like to be desk monitor? All right, Otto, I've written you down for desk monitor. Chair monitor? Thank you, Oscar, for volunteering for chair monitor. Whiteboard monitor. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? All righty. Julian will be whiteboard monitor. Now, who wants to be the classroom pet monitor? That job involves helping me take care of our classroom animals. It's one of the most important jobs. The most important job? I want to be pet monitor, too. You said you wanted to be lights monitor. Well, I changed my mind. I want each of you for homework tonight to think of a short speech telling the class why you want the job you chose and why you would be good at it. What are you going to say in your speech tomorrow? I don't want to make a speech in front of the class. Hmm. I've got it. You won't have to say anything. You can show the class why you'd be a good whiteboard monitor. All you have to do is draw. Hmm. Julian, would you like to come up and tell us why you'd be a good whiteboard monitor? Uh... Instead of saying a speech, I'd like to show you. Thank you. Julian, that was brilliant. Otto and Oscar, please come up. Chairs and desks should be neat. If you don't understand, we can repeat. Desk and chairs should be straight. We can do the job just great. Good job, boys. Now let's hear from Alexandra, who would like to be lights monitor. I am very good with lights. I turned no one in my house on and off all the time. Thank you. Come on up, Olivia. I should be classroom pet monitor because I want to take care of the animals and they want me to take care of them. These are our class pets. Can you say no to what they want? Yeah! All right, Francine. Let's hear what you have to say. Instead of telling you how good I am at taking care of animals, I'm going to show you. I brought my cat, Gwendolyn, today. See how shiny Gwendolyn's coat is? That's because I brush it every day. And see how she's not too skinny, but not too plump? That's because I feed her just the right amount. And she can even do tricks. Speak, Gwendolyn. All right. Since we have two volunteers, we're going to vote for who will be classroom pet monitor this month. 
Whoever doesn't win will be pet monitored next month. Now, raise your hand if you want Olivia to be pet monitor first. And now those who want Francine to have the job this month. All right, Francine will be our pet monitor. But I would do such a good job. Not too hot and not too cold. Perfect. Olivia, you're the best pet monitor we've ever had. That's true. And because you're doing such a good job, I'm bringing in a few more animals for you to take care of. Olivia, we need to straighten the desk. If you want, I can help you catch flies for our frog at recess. Gross. I'm not going to catch some icky flies. But you'll help the lizard shed his skin if he needs you to, right? Do what? Here, I'll show you. Here, Francine, why don't you hold him for a second? Sweet little lizard. I'll take care of you. There you go. Olivia, I think you should be pet monitor. Yes! I mean, thank you, Francine. Yes, Olivia? Since I'm so good with animals, do you think we could get a few more? Like maybe a sea lion or an elephant? I'm afraid not. Rule of life number 55. If your teacher says no to a sea lion or an elephant, a tiger is probably out of the question. And then the lizard got out, and then Francine knocked over the desks and the chairs, and then the lizard started running away, but then I stopped all the kids from scaring him, and then Francine said I could be the pet monitor because I was so good with the pets. This sounds like a very exciting story, sweetie, but let's finish it tomorrow. Time for bed now. Okay. But you're happy I'm pet monitor, right? I couldn't be more thrilled. I couldn't be more thrilled either. Good night, Olivia. Night, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> 